a mouse in the back. Really, you can see the horns were sticking out. And this one of the animals doesn't stay much longer. Uh, it's the smallest uh, antelope you find in the area. Really cool. And I leave him, he's going around with the of a vehicle. It's one of the animals, of course, we de every day we get to see it around. It's one of monogamous species, very, very, very loyal to each other. Once selected partner has become partner for life, which is very good life. Really for sure. It's a male becomes more territorial. It cover area like 300 square meters of an area. And one of the animal, of course, it doesn't uh, really, really depend on water or really you have to go every day to, to drink water. It can collect dew on top of the grass. It will be fine for it. It can stay longer without going to the water holes. There's a nice trap so for a male leopard. Let us follow up and see. It looks like a very good, very fresh trap. So we're gonna follow from here. Oxpecker on the back of the the pasha zebra. The zebra are a lot more happy this season because it's a lot more open. They can see very far. Now and then we have seen the same dozen of the zebra in this area. 
They tend to hang around here. In summer, it will be a lot more difficult to see zebra around there because it will be a lot more thick. And really, for sure, they move towards east or southeast. Is the area called uh, Cheetah Plain area. It's big open plain. Is where you normally find them. I'm still more interested on, on the leopard tracks that has been here and it could be the same leopard is amazing how he can walk. He's been at Treehouse Dam and now he's coming back. Yes, it could be the tracks early in the morning around 6 o'clock weather. He was walking around here. We might get to see him not so far from the point. But let's try to get and locate him around here because the tracks look like very good. Very fresh tracks look like Mordode, Ingwe and Poland Road. Heading north. Fresh in the Gonzo on Parliament Road. And Gonzo is heading to a super of Wayu. If you can rush the go to our Triple M area, uh, I will be coming, joining Sandy Patch and come direct from your side. Yeah, it looks like more frequently and we move some content. We yeah, actually one up and area, so it was that area. Moving to the tri uh, leopard tracks and is cutting straight towards one of the cut line and we come across with this tree elephant bull here. Very amazing. Seems stay around the one point. We have seen the big elephant yesterday, not so far from the area. You see around the same spot. It looks like the area is very good on supporting this elephant. Especially you can see what is charring there is from the red tree. There's quite a lot of them even acacia in the area. As I mentioned two days back, you know, acacia on itself, it got combritum layer that post a lot of nutrition or moisture. So really by this time of the year, because the grass is very, very, very dry, they keep themselves busy chowing on the acacia uh, quite a lot and seeking the prop, I mean, the combrita layer in between the tree. As you can see, even where the elephant is now trying to get grass that has been covered by thorn, for sure it will be very difficult because it was umbrelled but I thought it was very lot more difficult for anything to access that grass but because elephant has got track that can push the trees away and go for the grass that has been covered by the fern for long so that is one of the sign really for sure food are becoming more scarce around the area <laughs> 